G'day guys, in this particular video I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the angular velocity of this green bar once it reaches the vertical position, assuming it's been released from rest. So basically we're trying to find the angular velocity of this bar once it reaches this position just here. Okay, now there are several ways you can actually solve this problem. So to demonstrate that, I'm actually going to solve this problem three ways so that you can choose which way you prefer to solve these types of problems. So for method one, one way you could solve this type of problem is using energy methods. Energy methods. And in particular, and I think this is the easiest way personally, you can view this entire bar as rotating purely about point O. So basically no translation, just pure rotation around point O. So that's pure rotation. So if you like solving this problem this way, then click on this link. Likewise, for method two, and this is a slightly harder way to solve this problem, you could also do this using energy methods, but you could view this as not just pure rotation around point O, but you could view this as rotation around our center of mass, G, and also simultaneously translation of our center of mass. So this is going to be rotation plus translation. Okay, so that's method two. Click on this if you want to see how it can be solved this way. And for method three, just to show you that you don't actually have to use energy methods to solve this particular type of problem, you can also solve this problem using Newton's laws. And to be a little bit more specific, I mean you could use the sum of forces is equal to ma and the sum of moments is equal to i alpha. Okay, guys, click on this on. on the corresponding link which most accurately describes the way you want to solve this problem. But before you do that, I strongly recommend you solve this problem yourself, or at least try to, right? And then click on the corresponding link. Okay guys, I hope that makes sense. Um, enjoy.